Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of words clustering algorithm with the help of simple solved example. This is the example number 2 and the link for first example is given in the description below. Here we need to apply words method of clustering algorithm to cluster the following data points. These are the data points. Those are x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. After that, we need to draw the dendrogram. In the words clustering algorithm, initially we will consider all the data points as its own cluster so that all these five data points are become initial clusters and this words method minimize the increase in total within cluster variance when two clusters are merged. In the first step of words clustering algorithm, we need to compute pairwise merging cost that is delta. So, pairwise merging cost of two clusters, those are CI and CJ, can be calculated by using this formula that is delta is equal to cardinality of CI into cardinality of CJ divided by cardinality of CI plus cardinality of CJ multiplied with distance square of mu i and mu j, where cardinality of CI and cardinality of CJ are number of points in each cluster. Mu i and mu j are centroids of the cluster and a distance square is nothing but first we need to find the Euclidean distance after that we need to square that one that answer is nothing but a distance square. In the first step we will consider all these data points as a clusters and all the clusters are containing one point so that cardinality of ci and cardinality of cj which is equal to 1 and centroids mu i and mu j are the points themselves. So, that delta is equal to 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 which is equal to 0.5 into distance square of pi and pj. Here we need to do the pairing of all the clusters like x1, x2, x1, x3, x1, x4, x1, x by and uh, x2, x3, x2, x4, x2, x5, x3, x4, x3, x5 uh, and x4, x5. That is what I have written here. Once you find the pairing, next we need to find the Euclidean distance between these two clusters. Here we have two clusters x1 and x2. Euclidean distance between these two pairs will be square root of 1 minus 2 bracket square plus 1 minus 1 bracket square which is equal to square root of 1. And distance square is square of this answer which is equal to 1. And we need to put this answer in this formula. So, we will get delta is equal to 0.5. Similarly, I will take the next clusters x1 and x3. For this one, Euclidean distance will be square root of 1 minus 4 bracket square plus 1 minus 2 bracket square which is equal to square root of 10 and distance square is square of this answer which is equal to 10 and delta is equal to 0.5 into distance square that is 10 which is equal to 5. Similarly, we need to find the merging cost for all the pairs. Once you find the merging cost for all the pairs, next we need to check which pair is having the minimum merging cost? Here we can see that pair x1 and x2 having the merging cost 0.5 which is the minimum merging cost here. We will get the new cluster as x1 and x2. Once you find the new cluster, next we need to find the new centroid for these two clusters. So, that new centroid will be 1 plus 2 divided by 2, 1 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 comma 1. And this cluster is having two data points so that the cluster size will be 2 and the remaining clusters are x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. After that we need to recalculate the merging cost for the new clusters by using this formula. Here again we need to do the pairing like x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x4, x1, x2, x5, x3, x4, x3, x5, x4, x5. After that we need to find the merging cost for all the pairs. So, first I will select the first pair that is x1, x2 with x3. So, for this one Euclidean distance will be square root of 1.5 minus 4 bracket square plus 1 minus 2 bracket square which is equal to square root of 7.25 and distance square is square of this answer which is equal to 7.25 and delta can be calculated by using this formula. But here cardinality of CI will be because in the x1 and x2 cluster we have two data points so that the cardinality of ci will be 2 and cardinality of cj is 1 because in this cluster we have only one data point that is x3. So that once you put these two values and once you put the distance square value we will get the merging cost for 
first pair as 4.833. Next, I will consider the next pair that is x1, x2 with x4. For this one, we will get the Euclidean distance as square root of 16.25 and distance square as 16.25. Here also we will get cardinality of ci as a 2 and cardinality of cj as a 2 because in the first one we have two data points and in the second we have a one data points and we will get the merging cost for this pair as a 10.833. Similarly, we need to find the merging cost for all the pairs. Once you find the merging cost, next we need to check which pair is having the minimum merging cost. Here we can see that the pair x3, x4 and x4, x5. These two pairs are having the merging cost which is equal to 1. That is the minimum merging cost here. So, in this we can select any one pair and we need to merge it. For time being, first I will consider x3 and x4 and I will merge x3 and x4. So, we will get the new cluster as x3, x4. For this new cluster, we need to find the new signed products by using x3 and x4 data points. So, we will get 4 plus 5 divided by 2, comma 2 plus 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 4.5, comma 2.5. And this new cluster containing two data points so that the cluster size will be 2 and the remaining clusters are x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. After that we need to recalculate the merging cost for new clusters by using this formula. Again we need to do the pairing like a x1, x2 with x3, x4, x1, x2 with a x5, x3, x4 with x5. So, first I will consider first pair that is x1, x2 with x3, x4. For this one, we will get the Euclidean distance as a square root of 11.25 and distance square as 11.25. And by using this formula, we need to find the merging cost. Here, we will get the cardinality of Ci as 2 and cardinality of Cj as 2. Because in the first cluster, we have two data points and in the second cluster also, we are having the two data points so that we will get 2 and 2. And again, we need to multiply the distance square. Once you do this one, we will get the merging cost for this pair as 11.25. Similarly, we need to find the merging cost for the remaining pairs. Once you find the merging cost, next we need to check which pair is having the minimum merging cost. Here we can see that the pair x3, x4 with x5 is having the minimum merging cost that is 1.666. So, we need to merge these two clusters. So, once you merge these two clusters, we will get the new cluster as x3, x4, x5. For this new cluster, we need to find the new centroids by using these three data points that those are x3, x4, x5. So, we will get 4 plus 5 plus 4 divided by 3, 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 3 which is equal to 4.33 comma 3. And this new cluster containing three data points so that the cluster size will be 3 and the remaining clusters are x1, x2 and x3, x4, x5. After we need to recalculate the merging cost for the new clusters by using this formula. After that we need to do the pairing like x1, x2 with x3, x4, x5. For this pair we need to find the Euclidean distance. We will get the Euclidean distance as a square root of 12.026 and distance square as a 12.026. Next, we need to find the merging cost for this pair. Here, we will get the cardinality of Ci as a 2 because in the first cluster, we have two data points and we will get the cardinality of Cj as a 3 because in the second cluster, we are having the three data points. So, once you find the distance square, we will get the merging cost for this pair as 14.433. So, here we have only one pair. So, we need to merge these two cluster. After merging these two cluster, we will get the final merge as x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. Once you find the final merge, next we need to draw the dendrogram. Here we merged x1 and x2 with the merging cost 0.5. After that we merged x3, x4 with the merging cost 1. And uh, we merged x3, x4 with x5 with the merging cost 1.666. Finally, we merged x1, x2 with x3, x4, x5 with the merging cost 14.431. So, this is how we can find the merging cost and uh, we can draw the dendrogram. I hope the concept of Watts clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.